Okay, again. Hello, uh, my name is Bobby. I am one of the farmers in the rural area here. This place is Farlow, a village. And, I'm about, and now I'm going to tell you about how the cocoa beans are fermented and dried. And as I've said, uh, this is a, our cocoa beans are produced organically. We don't use fertilizers, we don't use chemicals. So now I'll show you the beans that are fermented in this fermentation box. These two boxes are very small boxes, from a fermentation box, and here you are, you have the beans here. Uh, as the beans will stay in these boxes for about six to seven days after we made a cut test, then we'll see if the beans are ready for drying. So, you'll see here, I'll show you, but I need a knife. Now you see the beans here. Now it started to. It's beginning to ready. After seven days, we will transfer these beans into the dryer unit, the solar dryer there. And I'll show you where we will dry the, the cocoa beans. As I've said, uh, these beans are produced organically. We don't use chemicals or fertilizers. We produce them naturally with uh, natural fertilizers. And these beans are very high quality beans. And we are thinking of producing uh, cocoa powder. Since the prices here are very low, we are thinking of producing another product. Uh, because normally we just export dried beans. But since the prices for cocoa powder or chocolate is very high, we are thinking of producing uh, chocolate, uh, cocoa bean uh, powder and chocolate. I think that will give us a good price. Even for the community, maybe the, the people, they can drink uh, uh, cocoa powder and they can eat chocolate too, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we only get uh, cocoa powder from the shop. And I think it's from Chinese or Singapore or but it's uh, better because we still have more cocoa here. We can produce uh, cocoa powder locally. And I believe that uh, many people will enjoy drinking cocoa powder and even chocolate. Okay, because the kids can have, go to the school after uh, with a nice uh, chocolate cup or mm, chocolate yeah. drink, no? And maybe they can sell it to the kids at the school, mm -hmm. make chocolate bars and, uh, you know, they'll really enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. So now we can see how is the, the solar dryer. Yes, this is the solar dryer and this is one of the latest solar dryers introduced in the Solomon Islands. In fact, it was introduced by someone from Australia. Usually we use hot air dryers where we use firewood and fire. And compared to this one here, we don't use firewood. We just put the beans on the bed and then let the sun dry it. The other ones that we use, the hot air dryer, the labor is too much. We have to get fired every day to keep the fire drying these beans. And I'll show you inside this uh, drying unit. <laughs> As you come in this house, you will feel that the, the temperature here is a bit different from outside, a bit warm, and that is uh, how we produce, we dry these beans here. Here we have two beds here. Uh, each bed can hold about 500 kilos of dried bean, and this uh, unit can hold about 1,000 kilos of dried bean. And during sunny days, since we have more sunlight here in the Solomon Islands, or even here at Farlow, uh, it will take us about three to four days before these beans are dried. And as I've said, uh, we, we don't need firewood and the labor is reduced because we just put them here and we can uh, tend them every morning and evening until we complete it for the five days or four days. Mm -hmm. Okay, and can you explain us, you can explain us please uh, 
if you have any project or if some help or somebody uh, government or, or, or somebody can help you to make uh, the cocoa powder or to make chocolate do you need some help do you have any idea of course we are really need some help uh, since we are producing dried beans we only sold uh, cocoa beans and now we need to get better prices so we need to change from dried beans maybe to powder and we really need we really need uh, help from someone to help us uh, usually when we when people coming from outside they always tell us about markets uh, ninja market and all those things and it's very hard for us to get in those markets so I think it's a very good chance to talk and I will say that we, we need help from others or from outside or anyone can help us so that we can produce uh, this uh, powder or chocolates to export and to export and to live in good condition yes. with uh, with the right price yeah. for your job for your work so thank you so much Bobby thank you and we will try to find help for you and your community thank you from my help yeah, okay thank you thank you